Today's lecture is self-defense. For cowards. <laughs> Recent expensive surveys have revealed a distressing increase in the number of fistfights occurring in public meeting places. Fellow cowards, how often have you found yourself in this awkward position? A perfect stranger is suddenly inviting you outside. Somewhere in his foggy, teeny-weeny brain is the notion that you looked at him. Or maybe you looked like someone who once looked at him. Anyhow, he intends to punch you in the nose. Sorry, old man. Uh, you must be uh, mistaken. <laughs> As you lie there, you may have a moment of regret that you did not retaliate on his terms. Remember your days on the high school team? Forget it. No, your only protection is in the self-defense system we now propose. By a series of field-tested actions, which we demonstrate here, the adept coward can successfully avoid any exchange of blows in even the most menacing situations. The first and simplest of these is the going limp action. Timing is crucial in this action. Carry through as your would-be opponent gets a strong grip on your clothes and just before he delivers the roundhouse, it is almost impossible to hit a truly limp man. The psychoanalytical action. It's my job to help people like you, not hurt them. Be sure to wait until he is thoroughly involved in the story of his unfortunate life before you slip quietly away. The hysterical laughter action. <clears throat> this is an effective action for use in slow situations. It will not stop a fast bunch. Offensive odor action. Use this action with discretion, as it is an equal deterrent to friend and foe alike. The screaming action. The element of surprise works in your favor here. Slight self-mutilation action. Be wary of using this action to extreme. Slight pain is all that is necessary. The fainting action. Very effective in many situations. Use of this action requires mastery of the technique of falling backwards without injury. How to fall properly for fainting action. Position one, standing upright, extend arms. Position two, raise one leg while bending the second. Continue to lower body as though to sit on heel. When very close to ground, roll body back gently. 
fling both feet upward and slap the ground vigorously with open palms for realistic sound effects. When viewed at normal speed, you can see that this technique is quite convincing. The friend action. A great measure of defense can be had from the proper utilization of friends. This action is very effective for those who have the right kind of friends. The shock action. The shock action has been found to be extremely effective if your liberation from middle-class moralities is complete. Try this action. You should now be aware of the rich possibilities of this art and be able to face any hostile situation. It is best to remember, however, that the actions outlined in this lecture are practical for defensive purposes only. Good night and good luck.